Yeah. Hey, y'all. What it do? I am wifey. I'm Ill Mac, a.k.a. Uh... <laughs> Uh, what is, what is my AKA for the day? I don't know. I guess I gotta say, uh, Tire Tech. Tire Tech. Big Tire Tech. Don't, don't. Tire Tech. <laughs> All right. You are. All day. <laughs> Straight up. But, uh, yeah, this is the Mr. and Mrs. Mac podcast brought to you by Urban Access Network and FNX, not FNX Fit. Mm-mm. Just Urban Access Network. That's right. Yeah. And the lip bar. And the lip bar. Um, yeah. Ladies, if you all want lipstick, makeup, anything, um, all your cosmetic needs, you can use code <laughs> Mrs. Mac 314. Cosmetic needs. Cosmetic needs. Wow. Mrs. Mac 314 uh, for all your lip cosmetic. bar purchases. Yeah. Cosmetic needs. Cosmetics. What's happening, baby? Mm-hmm. What's going on? Nothing. How was your week? Um, uh, It was a good week. We, um... We got to spend some time together with the kids, and you know, you had a couple off days. Yeah, I had a couple off days. Much kids needed. was on spring break, yeah. so you know. So we just tried to do something. We couldn't go out of town, or nothing. But um, I took, uh, I took them days flat out. You took them days. I wish I could have took the week, <laughs> man. But it was good. The kids had fun. Yeah, they you had got fun. to be off. You didn't have to worry about going to work. Yeah, in the beginning. I'm, um, by the time you hear this, the for my Patreon people, it'll be on Patreon, the vlog for what we did. Oh, but, yeah. Uh, yeah, fun. Yeah, man, went to main event, had some fun, you know what I'm saying, did some races. Oh, my God. Look, I love Pac-Man, y'all. I have always liked Pac-Man. I used to play Mario a lot. <laughs> I was a Mario head. Oh, yeah. Every, love I think Mario. everybody was a Mario head. Man, though. I loved it. I always won. Yeah, Mario was always the go-to. <laughs> It's like I have a, I perfected it. I wish I had that game. What Pac Man? No Mario. Where Mario? You, can, you can play Pac Man on Mario and stuff. You can do all that. Get the joystick. You were, did you have the joystick? Was that on um, Nintendo? Yeah. Was that the joystick? Yeah, because I had the yeah. gun and everything. Yeah. They, uh, you used to play Galaxy too. They definitely had a joystick <laughs> all day. Oh man, but, those uh, were the days. But yeah, we had fun. We kicked it, cuz. Yeah. But I, I got to do more kicking it. You know what I'm saying? Look, we got to, um, we pushing P. What does pushing P mean, baby? Man, we uh, pushing Patreon. Uh, That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, y'all uh, better Uncle join Ski. Patreon. Come on now. What's pushing P? Uh, Uncle Ski came with the pushing P. The pushing P. Patreon. For P. That's what he did. He came with that. He ain't come with that. <laughs> Um, but what does it mean though? Like, what does it really mean? They say it just means player. Player? Yeah. Oh. Uh, they say it's just like you're just pushing some fly shit. Oh, ah, okay. Like you pushing some player shit. I don't know, man. You, know what I'm <laughs> you ain't. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, that ain't that ain't your era, huh? Yeah, I ain't pushing P. You ain't pushing P. Nah. All right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. How was your week? I'm uh. <sighs> <laughs> I got a pocket full of stones. A pocket full yeah, of I stones. Yeah, I ain't pushing P. I got a pocket full of stones. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's the area I'm from. Oh, okay. All right. That you ain't. know what I'm saying? Okay. All right, now. <laughs> Don't get me started. But <laughs> it's over there. my week was cool, man. My week was cool. Uh, we had a lot of rain. I had to work two days in the rain. Oh, we had a lot of rain. Man, it was horrible. You knew Damn April me. was coming. I was about ready to walk off that thing. Oh. I held on tight though, <laughs> straight up. Um, and yeah, that was it. Look, but out clean shave Mac. You know what I'm saying? I cut the beard off of my queen. He always do. For all you beard niggas, sometimes you got to cut this shit off for your woman. You know what I'm saying? Give me another. Look. Let us see a different nigga. Right. But I out. love it. Cause I'm damn feeling all on his face and stuff. Yeah, I ain't. I ain't putting no no weave in my hair now. No, that's okay. I switch mine and, up. And every, I ain't doing no color I either. switch mine up every now and then for you, so that's good. You want good. me to get the cheetah print? No, I want you to keep doing like, what you're doing. You the, the blind patches in my head? No. What about the blind patch right here, like Ola Depot? Mm-mm. No? No, that ain't for you. <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. <laughs> you doing you. Yeah, I switch it up, though. Yeah, I love I try it. To. I as, absolutely as love it. Yeah, I got to. As much as I can. Yeah. I think that's important. Like, I think that it's important for women. Like, y'all better switch 
your hair up, switch your, your nails up, switch something up. Like, you, it gets boring seeing the same person all the time, though. Like, a I lot don't of think people. So. I mean, yeah, it, it just looking at the same thing, like, all the time. Like, why wouldn't you switch it up? Yeah, like, you know. Well, we didn't have some. At least, at least one time. Yeah, I mean, it ain't got to be all the time, but just get a switch it up and just see what happens. Yeah, I think I'm going to get you. I'm going to have chop up boom and cut your name in my hair. Baby, time. you 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 pushing <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'm pushing P. <laughs> you pushing P. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shit, whatever. <laughs> but yeah. Right. What are we talking about? We're talking um, about power, right? We got to talk about power. We got to talk about, oh yeah, force. No, 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 no. Not power. We you, talking about snowfall. Snowfall. Well, sorry, y'all. My, my bad. Right. We don't mean to get it mixed up like yeah, this. Yeah, we get mixed up. But, um, oh, man. Okay, I think I got some notes on snowfall. Snowfall was really good. This episode was really, really good. All right, let me uh get to my notes. You can start, baby. You want to start? You want me to start? You can start. Go ahead and start for me. Let me get to my notes. Well, the biggest thing that I think stood out. Okay was this was a very emotional episode for Unc. Yeah, Unc was going through. That was the biggest thing of the episode. Yes. It's like they really tried to focus on Unc going through whatever he was going through. Yeah, so I'm thinking that Unc was in in the army or something with him. Is that is that what you're thinking? Um Unc might have did some some time in the army. I don't know because he went to the the rehab center. He went to that was for veterans. Yeah, I mean, but you know, and I think him and um Peaches served together. Peaches served together. It might be what it that, is. That's my um. That's my 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 take on Oorah. it. That's what I think. Oorah. baby. <laughs> Oh, it ain't necessary. I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying. Shout out to all my veterans out there, man. Y'all yeah, important. They are very. I wish uh, America would take care of y'all better, but yeah. you know, and they I, still treat black people to... like shit too. So join the club. Really? Uh that was out of line. <laughs> I apologize. And we trying to and look, one of our uh, Ariana trying to go to the National Guards though. True. I don't know why she wouldn't fight for this. Country. I said, all right. Um, you you know what? When we went to go get her, um. They had to go get Ariel had to get a shot so she can get enrolled into school. But um, when the lady was giving them a shot, she was like, "Oh man," she said, "Ariana's scared of shots." And the lady was like, um, "And you're trying to go to the National Guard?" She said, "They're gonna shoot you up with all kind of stuff." She said, "They would shoot them up with." Um, she was in the National Guard. Her her brother in law or something was or her, uh-huh. and she said they would be, you know give them injections and not even tell them what it was. But the thing is, they ain't got to. You, they own you. I don't know. I don't, they own is strong. Baby, right? please. I mean, I, they, when you sign up for the army, like you have, like the you the armies, they tell you when you can and can't go. Man, like you said, the girl got to stay in St. Louis or Missouri in order for her to, and when she enlists into the yeah. National Guard, she got to sign. She got to stay in Missouri. They already telling you where you can and can't go. I'm like, dang. I'm like, do you understand this? She want to do it. So, man, I don't know. I don't know. Hey, you I'm starting gotta, to get a little nervous. I ain't getting nervous. I mean, each child got to go through their own path. You know what I'm I saying? I know, but. So, I'm not, I'm not finna dictate that. I'm not finna regulate that. I know, we can't. I the mean, only I can't. thing that I need to do is just stand strong on responsibility. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Like I said. My goal is to when these niggas get 21 mm-hmm. and they done with what they doing, boom, here you go. Here you go, you an apartment. I paid the first and last month rent, rent due next month. <laughs> you feel me? Here y'all go. I got you a brand new 50 inch in there. <laughs> there you go. But yeah. Like, you, like, for some reason, I think urban children need to be pushed just out there. Yeah. You know, um, we was look, listening to. I know we supposed to talking about power, but we were going to a lot of different things. I've been Damn. wanting to get. Sorry, y'all. We, we wanted, was on power. We, we would get right back to it, oh, but we, trash. we was listening to. Uh, oh, oh, we trash. No, we're not. We were listening to. We uh, watched earthquake um, comedy special, and he was talking about how kids. Um, James always said, "Like yeah, forget these kids." Yeah, forget these kids. <laughs> and earthquake was just saying how uh, you got to push them. They they. We were raised in a different, yeah. but he said you can't 
we can't even like discipline or do the same things that was done to you back in. This ain't the same era. This ain't the same generation. Oh no, they soft. Like yeah, they said. so soft. These kids don't know what it is yeah. to try to like. He talked about the, he unplugged the Wi Fi and his son went crazy. Went crazy. <laughs> and it was asking him what was wrong with the Wi Fi. <laughs> He's talking about some. Yeah, that's on Netflix too. Yeah, um, that's, it's good. Earthquake. Um, yeah, earthquake. But these kids now they they do have to be pushed. You got to push. They ain't they ain't, they ain't went through nothing or See, did nothing. This is the thing. Like he said, we was we was uh, city kids. Mm-hmm. And they urban kids. And we raising these urban kids. And we raising these urban kids. Because we want better for them. We want to do, you right. know, we want to. So when we was growing up, it really wasn't sweet like that. Like, Mm-mm. shit wasn't comfortable. That's why we stayed outside. Outside all the time. Yeah. Man. Flat out. Always but outside. with them, it, they're just super comfortable. Yeah. Technology and Which I mean, really everything homes is at the fingertips. And, yeah, man. it homes on, on like. Uh, I'm of an uh, African American heritage. Like, it's part of us. If we get comfortable, we comfortable. Yeah, that's true. Flat out. It's it's easy to get comfortable. Yeah, but I think you turn twenty one. If I push you and mm-hmm. I get this, oh man, you're gonna be motherfucking beautiful. Yeah, you're gonna be good because you're gonna be able to experience like what's really going on. Okay. Yo, real freedom. Well, you already going to be gone from the crib, so you're going to want to keep that freedom. Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You ain't got to come back to no rules. Right. But even if you stand at the crib, when you're 21, I got to push you out there. Oh, yeah. You got to, yeah. Flat out. I got to push you out there. Because this is the only way I'm going to help you is if you're trying to hold your own down. They going. Like, if you stand with me. I don't know what to tell nobody. If you stand with me, I'm not helping you at all. <laughs> Dang. That's are not, you just gonna be staying here? You just gonna be staying. That's all. Right. You don't get no help. You don't eat my food. Up, you don't yeah. do nothing. You stay. You can't use my soap. You, you stay <laughs> two notches away from getting put out <laughs> all the time, <laughs> flat out. Dang. I'm, I'm two notches away from taking your key all the time. Mm, mm, mm. If all you doing is staying here, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Do something. I don't know. We they they going, especially the men. Yeah. Like a lot of times, people don't realize the man you raising is gonna have to take care of a family one day. Oh, that is deep. And if he's not responsible enough to handle that, then he gonna be a baby daddy. I pray that Marcus, he boy done right now. He gonna grow out of that, right? I oh, know he good. I mean he he he's good because yeah, he is big such a good. he is such a. But I feel like he gonna try to live with us forever. Nah, hell no. Nah. Oh, he gonna know. have to Big get dog out. Big dog gonna be gone. You think so? Yeah, Big dog gone. He leaving. Yeah. Who's staying? KK. KK staying for sure. Yeah, she's staying for sure. She gonna try to stay. Yeah, she definitely is. She gonna she gonna try to milk the hell out of it. Yep. But yeah, snowfall. Okay, back to snowfall. But I think wow. Uncle's in. Wow. I'm I sorry, think yeah. Uncle was in the. Uh, I do. Um, Uncle was in the emotional state, and he and you think he was in the uh, service with. Yeah, I think he was peaches. in the service with peaches. I really do. Okay. He going through that was a, that was that you can really see like this episode is like was geared around Unc. When Unc walked into the another thing I noticed, Unc walked into at first I thought when he walked into the clinic, uh-huh. the white boy had peeped him right, right, and it showed you how how he had peeped him, and I'm like, oh, he know Unc. I thought that him and Peach was about to rob him or something. But no, the white boy started with Unc too, and knew what Peaches was. Yeah, and that's how Unc found out that Peaches was on that stuff. I told y'all. A lot of people said you. You said it. I told y'all. I thought it. I ain't never seen it. In the beginning, homeboy, he was homeboy, I think homeboy said it. Mm-hmm. The beginning, I'm yeah, like, he was sniffing. He was definitely he's sniffing. sniffing and doing all this. Like, uh, uh-uh. uh. Like, how did? But he how did Franklin not? Way. How did Franklin not see that? I think Franklin saw it. That's why he told him, uh, go home, take a break. No, he thought he was sick. I don't think he think he was sick. You think he knew? I think he knew something I was sick. Nah, man. Mm. Okay, well. We'll find out next episode. I'm pretty sure Unc gonna go to Franklin and be like, yeah, Peaches was on that shit. Mm-hmm. All right. So then, this old punk. Ooh, I can't say what I want to say. Yeah. Ooh, punk. 
Yeah. Police officer. Man, we need we need <laughs> Hey dog. Snowfall reviews gonna have to go to Patreon. Cause my mom be watching cause Yeah, and I'll be man, like, like this is this is my stuff. Right, like, like I don't this is this my is, stuff. Yeah, this is why I start my own and this is why I wanna own my own. Mm-hmm. I don't wanna be censored. Yeah. Yeah. When but I don't want to be censored. Patreon, we we get but it goes anyway. down. But yeah. But yeah, this old punk right. police officer. Yeah. Don't ask Auntie on a date. Oh, he thirsty. Do you know? He been wanting to hit that. That uncle put them hands on you? He know that. Come on, stop playing with he him. He told that your world, nigga. So he better stop playing with him. He better, And then he going to tell her congratulations when he saw her ring. He said, I thought y'all been married. Yeah, then he said, uh, Get your oh I, I, I feel I feel like I, I like married women more than I like single. I can't women. stand it. You old. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. That nigga. I want to say something, y'all. That nigga Jesus. thirsty as hell. His boy. old thirsty self. Get on up off of her. Flat she up. married. Man, 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 man. But yeah, this episode was just based around Uncle High. He was just going. He was really going through. Yeah, and then um, white boy Teddy snap. White boy, t- yeah. He snapped. White boy Teddy gonna you think he gonna commit suicide? Somebody gonna well, mom's gonna have him killed. I think the Mexican. Okay, so what happened was right. <laughs> spoiler alert! Did we say that in the beginning? I don't know. All of this is spoiler alert. You ain't seen it. Yeah. Um, alert. The Mexican nigga um, went to Teddy stash or a building or mm-hmm. abandoned warehouse, <laughs> wherever the hell the spot is, <laughs> the uh, Teddy cave, mm-hmm. and he had all this. Surveillance equipment out, right? And he was like, "Hold up, what are you doing?" And he like, "Yeah, you know, Franklin, he he soft, mm. charming. <laughs> you feel me? He can't do he can't he do like, him like that. We not we, we we not finna do this with him. He we gotta he slipping. Mm. And the Mexican dude just looked, and then he just ran off. I mean, he ain't run off, but he just walked yeah, off. He walked off." He going through too. He going through the changes because like him and Franklin got cool. Yeah. And like when they went through the tiger stuff together, you know. Right. And he, he want to Frank- be loyal. Yeah, Franklin saved his life. And he want to be loyal, but. So I, I don't I'm thinking know. the next episode, the Mexican dude gonna tell Franklin, "Hey, this nigga trying to put ooh. put surveillance on you, bro." But then, oh, oh shit! Thinking about talking about surveillance. Uh huh. Mama had that tape recorder. Oh yeah, she had that tape recorder. I didn't had a purse. I didn't had a premonition. All right, premonition. Okay. Mama gonna put their tape recorder in that office, right? Uh huh. But it ain't gonna catch Franklin up when she listened to it. I told you it was gonna catch that wank. It's gonna catch her. I told you, Mama was gonna catch that wank. It's wank. gonna catch her up. Watch when she. Do. I told you that she ain't did it yet. She ain't put that I tape recorder that. out yet. But when she do, because I think I I got a feeling she is. But uh-huh. when she go back and listen to it, Ooh. that woman gonna incriminate herself, and I cannot wait for it to happen, boy. That's probably uh, gonna be the season finale. I told I you that. I just told y'all. If it is, I need y'all to give me my money. <laughs> Your money? You ain't betting nobody. I don't know. I need to bet somebody. The nigga just supposed to give you money because you got it right. Because I didn't told them what I didn't told them what was well, gonna first happen. First of all, I said this when Mama came back. Did I tell you that? Okay. All right. Come on. Did I right, tell you, you that? Did. I said Mama gonna catch her up. <laughs> Straight up. But she gonna yeah. get her. Yeah, but that is my premonition about snowfall. <laughs> yeah, mama gonna catch her up. All right. Uh, what happened this week, baby? Okay. You know, another thing was this nigga oh, Peach's okay. real name is Dijon. Dijon. <laughs> yes, nigga, like the mustard. I see that this nigga named Dijon like the mustard. See, that's what that's another reason that makes me think they serve together. Like he know his government, his whole government. They probably did, sir. You might be right about that. He, they probably served together. He knows his whole that. government. I can see that. <laughs> Dijon. Dijon Mustard. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that fucked me up. Uh, let's see. You are hilarious. Okay, Leon. Let's talk about Leon real quick. Okay. Leon killing that little girl really changed him. Oh, yeah. As it would anybody. But. It, it changed him to the point to where he cares. He needs to get out the business because he cares too much. He, he yeah. He, he too he, emotional he, at this point. He too emotional for the job. <laughs> he can't be no gangster out here being emotional. Dog, Leon, you ain't got the streets in you no more. You oh, know what I'm man. saying? 
He said it's too much violence. Too much violence, too much y'all. Violence. People are killing our people. Mm-hmm. That's a long punch. Straight up. Sitting on it, Lord. But, um. Yeah, uh. And unproposed. Oh, yeah, baby. Congratulations to Uncle, Uncle and Auntie on their engagement. <laughs> hey, man. <sighs> baby. What? You hilarious. Why? You congratulating your peoples. The people is, is, is damn engaged. <laughs> that, that don't be a hate. Yeah, I ain't. I said. Damn, they already got to worry about. I was crying. Scully and what shit. What you talking and about? Peaches <laughs> and peaches and, and uh, Kane. Uh, I Man, was crying. You, now you hating too? <laughs> you are so silly. No, I'm I'm all right, but you funny. I ain't funny, man. Uh, yeah. We finna go to a commercial break and move on to the next thing. What you got next? We talking about Will. Oh, shit. You don't have to be beautiful to turn me on. I just need your body, baby. From dust till dawn. You don't need experience to turn me on. All right. All right. So, um, Will. all the controversy about behind Will, right? See, I really don't want to talk about this because I know, but I, I have a for, for like, yeah, they have been, and like I heard, oh I was God. at work and I heard it like fifty five times. I'm like, one thing Dang. I don't want to be is redundant. And, but you feel me? It, we don't have to be re- redundant. That's fine. Okay. But I have a topic behind it. A topic or a question? A question for you. Okay, what's up? All right. So he did what he did, right? Right. My question to you is, do you think that there was a different way for him to have handled that as a man? Because everybody's saying that, you know, he was laughing at the joke, which we saw that, and then Jada didn't laugh at the joke. So they kind of feel like he had to stand up for his woman. Yeah. Right? And then recently, um, I saw the first thing I saw when I woke up on the... well, YouTube was the brother Tony Rock was a uh, going oh, in yeah, on He called Jada a, 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 the B word. Oh, did he? Yes. Oh no! I guess it's fair game because Women's Month is over, so that's not okay. You bees is getting in there. The, the B word is flying again. They so trash. Yeah. Um, but women, the most disrespected woman in in America. Um, black women. I don't know. You know, I be listening to the streets, and I heard that. Will has talked to Chris about this before. Oh. Yeah. And I guess it's still. Oh, so it's so it's deeper than what we think. It's something that's more behind than what we see. Like, they, they got a whole. When is this Red Table Talk coming out? Because I want to know. I'm nosy. I really want to get down to the nitty You think it's really going to be a Red Table Talk? I think so. I think it's coming. Oh, my God. But uh, uh, Will, don't do it. Don't do the red table talk. But I want to know, like, what? How do you think that he should? Is is that the way he should have handled it, or do you think, like, as a man who feel who feels disrespected, his woman feel disrespected, that that was the way to handle it? Um, I probably would have just. I would have definitely walked on stage to let the people know it was a problem, and I probably would just walk to him and let him know in his ear, like, yo, my wife got alopecia, bitch. I mean, I'm sorry, mom. My wife. <laughs> I'm not gonna be doing this. I'm a grown ass man, dog. You know what I'm saying? Don't come on. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm like this. But yeah, you would you let him know apologize. something. In his, you would let him know something. In his right head, now, though. you need to apologize. Okay. You wouldn't went up there and been started and ready to fight him though. No, nah, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm I gonna wouldn't want him. you to go fight the man. But I already, I would, I would have already known. Yeah. That okay. Don't worry. I ain't even worried about it. Cause he going he gonna see my husband. Yeah, I mean he gonna see him. I ain't worried about it. Yeah. But I, I just didn't. I mean, like I said, like a lot of people asked my opinion about it because they know we do the podcast, and I was just saying like I think that there was absolutely that wasn't the time or place for it. Oh no no but no! Don't get me wrong. It should have been handled. No, don't, don't. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Uh-huh. He could have did it differently, like I said. Right. But the way he did it, mm-hmm. it was just straight gangster. Really. Every interview in it with Will Smith is going to be different now. Everybody's going to watch what the hell they say. 
It raises his respect level. You know what? I need to read his book. Yeah. Maybe that's what I need to do too. Since I'm so yeah, nervous, we want to find that, out. Charlemagne said that the book is deep. Okay. And he said that uh, Will Smith had trauma from um, his daddy beating his mama and him not intervening. Oh, okay. Flat out. Huh. I mean, I just think it's deeper than what we saw. That's all I'm saying. And I yeah. just was, you know, absolutely, absolutely wanted your opinion about it. And I could definitely understand how they could, could fuck you up. Yeah. Flat out. I got a story. I know. Yeah. I'm pushing P. Pushing P. I'm going to tell y'all. I'm pushing P. But yeah. <laughs> it's a... Uh, it's uh well, the way he what the way he did was fine. I don't really care that he went up there and smacked that thing. Yeah, I mean, I he did what he did, but Flat I out. just it probably. But in the book, they say that he said that he always has to smile mm-hmm. when it's disrespect. Mm, he tired of he tired of gritting his teeth and just smiling. Yeah. Then a lot of people try to j- blame it on Jada. Like, yo, I mean, she brought the red table talk and, like, they discussed it and all this stuff came out. And they out. made him look all bad and, and yeah, stuff. And yeah, th- I mean, that has nothing to like do with. two years. It does. But that don't, that doesn't make, so that makes him want to be, feel like he got to be more of a man or something? Or what is it? Understand, off GP, ladies, men have to, Go through things all the time. Mm-hmm. We have to hold what we got in because nine times out of ten, y'all gonna just like wave it off like it ain't shit anyway. So we got to hold our shit in and we just keep it moving. Mm. So what happened was this come that comes to a boiling point. Mm. You feel me? Yeah, I mean, every, I think everybody has their boiling point. So yeah, maybe and then that was Chris just talked his. about it in 2016. When she started to boycott against the Oscars. Oscars. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, hey. Yeah, I think it's just, it was deeper than what we saw. Yeah, I, it comes a time where every man got to defend his woman. One way or another. Yeah. You're going to have to step to the plate. Mm. You're going to have to. Like, why, why do you say that, though? I feel like that's just going to happen. It's going to happen. And I think you need to act accordingly when they when they go down. Mm. Why not? Oh, I'm acting accordingly. I have no hate. doubt that Will Smith and Jada Pinkett went home and had an amazing sex after Absolutely. That. It probably was. It probably was the best day ever. Like, you just smacked this nigga on the Oscars. I'm just saying. Hey. Why not? I'm, I guarantee you. They probably did. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Flat out. I done had to check some niggas for wifey. Oh, absolutely. Well, I remember that A-Rab. Uh, <laughs> they, they said, this nigga said he put Freon in, in the, a lot of Freon in this truck that we used to have. We still got it. Oh, my God. Well, I'm not going to tell y'all this. <laughs> it's, it's embarrassing. It's a shame that we even still got this truck. We're not yeah, paying. We we're not still paying a note on it. But We own the truck. We need to just get rid of the truck. We need to figure out how to get rid of it. I don't understand. Okay, come on. But. This nigga said he put all Freon in the truck. And um I don't even remember what happened. He was real disrespectful to me. We That's went up, all I we know. We went up there to get the uh the air service, right? And the I air, think, yes. What was I at work? I think uh, I had to, it was in the morning. I think I had just got off work or something. Mm-hmm. Or I must have been asleep. I don't, I don't know. know. All I know is I called you and let you know. He went happened. to go get the earth service and the A-Rab dude was tripping. Don't tell me. I'm like, it don't work though. Like there's nothing going on. You supposed to like fix something and you put you did all this and it don't work. Yeah. He didn't want to give my money back. Like, sir, nothing works. Like you didn't fix anything. Right. Boy, Jane walked up in there. He saw him. And I don't know what he said, what he said, because he told me he goes to the car. <laughs> all I know is he came back with my money. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or he put it back on our card or something. I don't know what he did. But I was like, he was like, I know one thing. He was like, you won't talk to her like that. Not her. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't play no games, though. Flat out. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> but you know, sometimes, like, why even heard me on the phone at work going in on the white boy? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I, I feel I went... sorry for people sometimes. <laughs> I really do. 
I honestly feel sorry for people sometimes. I'd be like, I mean? am so sorry that you have to go through this right now. <laughs> that you 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 hearing him talk to you. Oh man. Cause he don't give no fuck. I'm, ooh. It's not you good. Mommy, Nana, she my don't, bad. She don't like it. Stop watching. He don't care. <laughs> he cares. He don't care. He's gonna say what he's gonna say. Right. Shit goddamn motherfucker. I be feeling turn it off. Oh, you be, don't you Hey, Nana, we I'm love done. You. I'm a grown ass man. Dog. We love you, but uh, yeah, okay, all but, right. But yeah, man. So yeah, so every, if there comes a time when every man there, has. Yeah, to, I had to go in there and I had to let him know, bro. You didn't do shit. You didn't do <laughs> nothing. Work. I, about, I put a lot of free out there. I said you I don't give put a fuck. Nothing in the there. The air don't work. You said it was gonna work. I don't care how much you put in there. You the didn't. air doesn't work. <laughs> This was 15, 10 minutes ago. The air don't work. It's not three days, five days, right, 10 no. days later. It still don't work. And you Straight said up. it worked. Oh, I remember that. Lord, yeah. have mercy. I think my, my, my final statement was, hey, I need a refund. I'm going to whip your ass. He said, you, now you're not going to talk to her like that. <laughs> not her. I remember yeah. that. I, I was, I, I was, oh. I was, um, I don't know. I was ready. You you stay ready, baby. I was gonna hey. You do. That <laughs> nigga ready. he was gonna get knocked too. I, I think I'm like, going I'll be through. having to call him down a lot. I'll be like, why? I might have been going through a little something at that time too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oof. I'm like, why? Why do you have to do why? Hey, Cause man, people try you. Flat out. You can try me all day because uh James I'm is, either gonna laugh. Like like anybody who does anything to me, I'm gonna laugh. You feel me? But he, it's like when you when you when you start doing shit to people around me, then we got an issue. That's when the issue comes. That that it's a huge issue. Me, mm-hmm. I'm good. I already know I'm chilling. But mm-hmm. I, I don't even want to fight your ass. But if, if my wife stay get him, <laughs> best <laughs> believe like him. you gonna get got. <laughs> people were saying, what if Chris Rock would have ducked it? And would have like they would start squabbling. No, nah, start running around <laughs> the stage. We would have had to chase him. <laughs> what? If you would have went up there and you tried to smack this nigga and he ducked. What? He would have had to chase him. There is no way you could just turn around and walk back to your seat. You, you know, gotta y'all, smack this nigga. I don't know. We, so, we really thought that it was fake. I thought it was fake. Like the whole evening. I'm like, it's fake. Like that is fake, yeah. y'all. The kid's like, no, mom, it's real. <laughs> Woke up and it was on the news. And if you woke. Hold up. This if is my woke, woke people. Mm-hmm. Flat out. Notice, Will Smith got to stay at the Oscars. Supposedly, they asked him to leave. Cap. Yeah, that's Cap. You know why that was? Why? Because he smacked the black man. Oh, but if it would been, ooh. Let that have been a white man. Mm-hmm. You would have seen National Guard, not National Guard, Secret Service come in and escort my man and his wife out there. Ooh. Big facts. Those facts. It was black on black crime. <laughs> if it would if that would have been black if that would have been crime. Tom Cruise, mm. I mean, well, anyway, Tom Cruise probably would have swung back. Tom Tom Cruise probably would have went Mission Impossible on that nigga and broke it down, <laughs> straight up. But yeah, what is uh, um, question of the week? No, okay, listen, one more thing. I want do y'all know that there's a, a new act? It is called, I mean, new bill. It's called the Emmett Till, the anti lynching bill. Uh-huh. Um, Biden signed it into uh, office, so it's saying that um, anything like it's a federal hate crime, any kind of federal like any kind of hate crime against black people, like. I guess and you get a thirty year sentence uh in prison or something. That's the minimum. But yeah. I mean, I'm gonna go on and clap it up. Yeah. But I'm gonna need that to include um uh, guns too. Yeah. They were saying, uh, what is his name? Uh Ahmad Arbery. Uh huh. They were saying that his if this if this bill was in office at that time, then those men would have automatically got thirty years. What did they get? I don't even know what they got. I don't know what they got. Probably not enough time, but this would have been a, considered a, a anti lynching I mean, a hate, a federal hate crime. But yeah, mm. I heard that on the news the other day. I was like, wow, okay. After all these years, like, we, I mean, we got. Yeah. I don't know. After all these years, I don't know really how to feel about it, but I think it's. Yeah. It's a step. So there you go. Yeah, I think you just need to just. Um, <laughs> Only thing Biden need to do to get our vote this next uh, next time is go ahead and release that reparations, cuz. 
Uh-huh. Why not? You might as well just go and get about three meals to each black person in America and just, there you go. <laughs> Why not? All right. The question of the week, we ain't got that. We ain't get that many answers. So I got one more thing that I wanted to talk about. Um, you had uh, asked me a question the other night. What did I ask? And I don't know. Did you want to talk about this? On that? You can tell me if you want to talk about it right now. That's fine. You asked me what was more important, power or money? Oh, yeah. We can talk about it. And I was, um, of course, you think, you know, I, I thought about this for a long time. And she I had was, to break it take- down. Taking the back. I had to break it down to to myself. Like, what's more impo- important? Money is not important because shit. It can't be important. I sh- first of all, I ain't got a lot of money. You know, a whole <laughs> lot of money, so it ain't important to me. But I understand. I was. He, I, I said power. I end up saying power. But I'm like, still, he's like, okay, power. And I wanted you to break it down to people how you broke it down to me. Um, about how just like if you have the power. Like you and you have the control, but I'll let you break it down. Yeah. Do you remember talking about it? Yeah, money is a necessity, basically. Right, it money is. Money is not a. It's not. It's not power. Um, the reason people say money is power is because money can get you in different rooms with different people with the powerful people. Mm-hmm. You can pay to get in the rooms, but you only gonna go so far with the with the paper. Okay. In the end, you're gonna have to have something legitimate to like solidify you in your power. Mm. And then I think once if like, you have uh, the power, yeah, then the money will come around you. Yeah. You'll and and power to... not being like Why not? like um Putin or you know what I'm saying? Something like that. Power Still being dictatorship, no. Yeah. Not, power not, being like ownership of your company. Yeah. Power being that ownership control. of your art. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like we're not talking I'm not, it's not that deep. Like it's, Yeah, it's that it's the control it's, of it. Yeah, it's the control of yeah. it. Yeah. Right? So an example of power being a benefit is if two people go to a designing deal, they both design clothes. Mm. Right, one dude already got his own clothing line. Okay, the other dude just submitted some stuff. He fresh, you know what I'm saying? Out of out of college, you know, he did some stuff for the Met Gala for a couple of celebrities. Mm-hmm. He ain't really that deep in the game. Okay, guaranteed, the dude that got his own business that's thriving mm-hmm. is going to get a better deal than my my other guy. The fresh, the new, the newcomer. Right. Okay. Because he he's got, already solidified yeah, his he got power in the game. Yeah. He don't need the deal. Okay. Mm. You know, he already making the necessity, which is money, but his product is the power. Right, right, right. Straight right. up. That's, okay. that's why Kanye got so much. Like, Kanye got power. Oh, yeah. Kanye is. Whew. So, power to is. See that man making yeah. them these Yeezys I got on? <laughs> yeah. Power rela- and then relationships are power, too, if you got the right ones. Yeah. Like on the Kanye documentary, he was like, I go to London or wherever he said he went and meet with the head of Balenciaga. Right. He don't need no clothes. He give me socks. He, he give me everything. everything. I don't pay for dinner no more. I go to these restaurants and like if you got a restaurant that you can eat for free in, in your city, even if you in a small hit You got town, a little bit of power. You got power. You got power. <laughs> yeah, like that's power. Yeah. Having that control, yeah, yeah. I, I like that. But it's just I like the breakdown of that because yeah. I show was thinking like, we know they they say money is you know you need money, but yeah, having that control and having that power is, I think it's it's important too. So yeah, yeah. I mean, it was a lot of quotes that they told us to to mess us up. I mean, but if you break it down and you think of like, you can use different things for different. I don't know. Yeah. All right, so the question of the week. I didn't get a lot of questions this week. I guess this was not a good question either. Answers? No. Everybody just out here in these streets. We're going to do access to question next week. Oh, we are. So, oh, I like it. Y'all get ready. Y'all get ready. We're if gonna you're do not the following us on uh, IG, it's Mr. and Mrs. Mac uh, podcast. Um, yeah, and if your man or your chick trash and you're going through it or your kid's bad and you don't like your job, you can email us too. Yes, Mr. Uh, and Mrs. Mac. What is it? Mr. and Mrs. Mac 314 at gmail.com. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, but yeah. 
Hit us up, man. Send us a letter. We take letters. We do everything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right. Let's go ahead and get to it. All right. So the question of the week was, if you could plan the perfect date, right? what would it consist of? Okay. Let's talk, y'all. Look, this is date night. Um, and you know what? Maybe y'all didn't know or like... You know, the perfect date night. Do like people not think about that? Like, come on, why ain't nobody answer the question? Was it a bad question? Y'all can let me know that too. I don't know. Maybe it's too complex. All right. So you got the first person who answered was was the first person was Hollywood Drain. He oh. said a nice dinner, uh-huh. followed by a horse and carriage ride around the city. Okay, oh, Hollywood. that's cute. That's cute. Why not? That's cute. A horse and carriage. <laughs> All right, then you had Jay uh, Jay Wiggins, 1186. He ain't really answered, but I'm going to read it, what he said. He said, I will have an answer if this was next week's question. I'm working on this right now for my special person. Oh, Okay. He said, in the meantime, fuck people Dang. and fuck taxes. Oh, <laughs> He's my shout-out to the Mac. Shout-out to you, Jay Wiggins. Shout-out to Shout out to oh Jay Wiggs, man. Jay All Wiggs right. text, man. He going through. Everybody send a little prayer for Jay Wiggs. It's almost over. It's cause. almost over. What is it's it? April 18th? I don't know. We, we said it. I think we said it on Patreon. <laughs> All right. So but, uh, my perfect date. What's your perfect date? All right. So I love flowers. Uh-huh. So bring me flowers. Uh-huh. Um, okay. Well, you know what? I'm planning this day for you, not me. What? Okay. So if I was going to take James on a date. Why would you do that? No, the, the, that's, not the, that's not the question of the week. That is the question of the week. The question of the week, what's your idea of a perfect date? Right. Okay, so all right. So bring me yeah. flowers. So, Jay, uh-huh. I'm trying to help you, too. So bring me flowers. Mm-hmm. Take me to um, a nice restaurant. Mm-hmm. I like to be. I'm, I really. I'm. He has me spoiled. I'm spoiled. A yeah. uh, nice restaurant. Um, I would like to go, if we could, watch the sunset. I love things like that. Um, and then afterwards, oh yeah, we we going back. We're gonna get a nice. I'm probably gonna get us a nice room. Is this a first keep. date? No, it's just a, a date night. Oh, okay, I was gonna say you heard thotting. Come on, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Bring me flowers. Take me on a nice date. I like good vibes. Uh, let me listen to some good music. Uh-huh. Um, I said take me to the restaurant. Take, I want to go see the this. sunset. Right. And then Damn. afterwards, um, I want to get us a nice room. Yeah. I like the jacuzzis. I want either a jacuzzi in the room or I want a big world jet pool in the oh, bathtub. You bougie. I'm real bougie. Oh, hell no. My husband has me, yeah, nah. real bougie. But Fuck yeah, that. and we're going to end our night off right. On a date? On a date. First of all, that's that our date that night. A date. That's an itinerary, nigga. That's a date night. That's that's the that's perfect. That's an itinerary. You asked for my perfect date night. That's the itinerary. That's, I'm dressing that's from, up. That's from 2 to 12. Yeah, huh? That's from 2 to 12. 2 right. to 12 at night. 2 p.m. to 12 a.m. A. You're right. That's an itinerary. That's not a date. That's a whole date. No, that's a whole itinerary. Jay Weeze, make that happen. Are uh, you ready? With your special lady. You ready? Yeah, come on. You know, we... uh. You know, get on some Jay Morley while we riding. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, we gonna get on who? No, not we. You, 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 you describe yours. Not we. <laughs> <laughs> me and my little thing thing. What, what on the date with? Nah, no, 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 don't do this shit. Don't do this shit. Don't take my question away from me. Come on. Flat out. Come Hell on. no. Don't come take on. my question away come from on. me. Come on. I'm ready. Yeah, not come you. Come on. All right. Okay. Come on. <laughs> Why you gotta be so aggressive? I'm not. Come uh, okay. Alright. Uh, you know. Uh, you know, we on our Bob Morley. Mm-hmm. We chilling. Okay. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Brian, you know, we gonna get some some seafoods, like some of the fire seafood. Mm-hmm. Um and uh That's all you got? Nah, we 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 chill. You just chill? Yeah. On a date? Nah, we 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 Damn, that's why you rushing my motherfucking date, dog. No? I'm saying, come on. All Dang. right. So, you know, we're going to get some seafood. Mm-hmm. Flat out. Mm-hmm. Then we're going to get see a movie. Okay. Flat out. Then we go back to her spot. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Why you can't go back to yours? Huh? Huh? Because I got to use the bathroom. Okay. 
But uh, so we go in and you know, we Netflix and chilling in Bob Marley. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? She got a roommate though. Roommate come out with the the boy shorts on. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm like, oh shit. Oh shit. She thick thick. She thick with it. Ooh. So you know, mm-hmm. we chilling. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, roommate coming by Marley. Mm-hmm. The next thing you know, we taking some shots and you know mm-hmm. all of that. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And then shit. Next thing you know, it's a it's a it's a twerk off. I got the money out. Mm. You know, her and so you took you a hoe on a date. What you took you a hoe on a date? Don't do that. That's disrespectful. No, it's not. That's disrespectful. You just took you a, a Bob it, Marley hoe on a date. <laughs> that really just tickled your little damn soul, didn't it? Indeed. <laughs> Nah. Yes, it did. You I said a day. You didn't Come say on. the woman of my dreams. That's what it should have been, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused. I'm so confused. <laughs> no. You, you should have been taking your wife on a date. No, the perfect date is not motherfucking going to get something to eat and looking at the sunset and like, nah. It's not. That's that's a love date. That's a good relationship The perfect date, date right. Right. But if, if I'm not in a relationship person, with you and we dating... Then you just gonna take them to just get some seafood and go back to get their house and Netflix and we chill. went to the movie and everything. Oh, okay, all right. That's yeah. not the perfect date, but I guess that's a date that you can go on. Oh, that's the perfect date. And please, then, you know, I if y'all up, out there giving those kind of dates, then the bed then please. With, you know what I'm saying? Two of them in each arm. Like, damn. I mean, if that's what you want, then you know what I'm saying, like, gentlemen, yeah. if that's what you want, then like, I guess that's the way to go. But if you Smack try to get you a time. woman, a wholesome yeah. woman that's going to be down for you, that's going to be with you, yeah. and you're trying to get Smack you a, that somebody that's going to be long-lasting, yeah. then you better take you know on the I'm date saying? that I told you about. Find out the Kings feel me. You disrespectful right now. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> okay, we finna go. We just, let's get up out of here. What, we, what you got for the people? Y'all, I need y'all to answer my questions next week. Like we said, James, this is going to be an ask us a question. I want to know. Ask us a question Ask next us week. Ask us a question. What questions y'all got? That's my question of the week next week. Yeah, man. Uh, make sure you follow Urban Access Network on all social media platforms and YouTube. Make sure you follow Mr. and Mrs. Mac on Instagram. Uh, make sure Mrs. you subscribe Mac if you're watching on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Yeah, make sure you subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. I ain't remember what she talking about. <laughs> uh, and uh, hit, the, hit the bell, man. You know what I'm saying? Show us some love. Yes. Flat out, uh, share the podcast. If you got a Facebook, share the podcast on your Facebook for us. Mm-hmm. Um, subscribers been going up crazy. I don't know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's the Lord. And we need y'all uh, to, um, to come on and join us on uh, Patreon. Yeah, come on come with the Patreon. Come on and join us so y'all can hear us really talk and really yeah. you know, get a little deeper. But you know, And I put out a lot of content over there. A lot so, of content. You know we do saying? stuff with these old crazy children. Flat out. I would our... appreciate all you niggas out there that say you fuck with me to uh, come over to Patreon. Uh, come on to show us that you messed with us. You listen. Um, I ain't gonna go no further because I don't yeah, want. I don't want. No, I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. I don't want nobody getting their shenanigans. But hey, yeah, hey, if you too gangster to pray, at least thank. I mean, stay prayed up. And if you too gangster to pray, at least thank God. Bye. Bye, y'all. What it do, y'all? Hey, y'all. It's a uh, Mr. and Mrs. Mac. Look, we coming to y'all to tell y'all about Patreon, right? So everybody asks what Patreon is. Mm-hmm. Patreon is basically just a paywall. It's a way for y'all to donate to us so we can keep bringing this to y'all. And we can make it better a whole lot. You know what I'm saying? If you want to know how to sign up for it, I got you. You hit the bean, you hit the bow, you hit the bean, you hit the bow, <laughs> bow, you hit the bean, and we going to, hey, you hit... Bing, bing, bow. And you're going to be part of the sacrifice game. And then you too. We got three tiers. We got $5. We got $10. We got $20. All tiers get the same thing. Tell them what the tiers get, baby. All right. So each tier, you you get access to all the vlogs, behind the scenes, uh, all our Zoom calls, all our bedroom talks, and early access to any new merch that we're going to have. And you get the podcast early. And video. the podcast video early. The YouTube access to it. Okay, yes. Yeah, you get that too. So make sure y'all click the link in the bio. And uh, mm-hmm. sign up, man. Donate. 